Hey, what's going on guys? Stock Android Tech here, other known as Sat Tech. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've been able to do a video, but I'm going to be doing one today on an application. It's fairly, fairly new called Google Contacts. Now, this application is free of charge on the Google Play Store. At the end of the video, if you like what you see as far as the app in general, I'll leave a link in the bottom description so you guys can go check it out. So basically, once you download it from the Play Store, just go ahead and open it up like you would any application. Go ahead and just approve um, pretty much uh, what they're asking for uh, as far as your contacts, things like that. So go ahead and just enable all those features. Once you get done doing so, you're going to be brought up into this list of all your contacts that is shared through Google. Now, if you guys haven't backed up any of your applications as far as your contacts through Google, I highly recommend you doing it. So, as you can see right here is my list of my contacts. The one thing I do like about it from what I'm seeing is they have it all in alphabetical order on the left side where it says A, B, and C. And the one thing I also like about it is if you add more contacts, it would be available automatically through Google. So you don't have to wait, you know, for a certain time frame for Google to upload up contacts. It works instantaneously. Um, as soon as you um, log it in, you save your, your work. So I like that fact. Um, I like the fact that it also has different color codes to your contacts, so you won't get your other contacts confused. Um, so if you guys don't have pictures, you can just go ahead and format uh, the contacts like so. Uh, the other thing I like about this is you can sit here and you can go ahead and search for a contact. You don't have to go through your list to find what you're looking for. Um, the three pings here, is you can either select or select all so if you want to delete more than just uh, one person at a time you have that option up here on top right with the ping set and you can just hit select multiple and so uh, I'm not gonna do that but um, another cool feature has here is if you want to create a new contact right here is where the plus button that go ahead and just click on that and you have options uh, whatever account you guys has just go ahead and choose one. I would prefer using Google, uh, so that automatically on a new device in your future, if you decide to get one, you can have your contacts automatically uh, backed up through Google. And so, yeah, that's a cool feature. Another cool feature is if you have multiple Google accounts, you can go ahead and automatically switch accounts. Uh, right here where it says ATEC 65 at Outlook. So uh, through SatTech, that's what I normally use on my, you know, personal is what you see right here with the anonymous picture and logo. Um, another cool feature is if you go into your settings, you have a lot of info that you can go ahead and change. And uh, at the bottom where it says manage contacts, you have an option to import or to export or to restore or undo changes. So if you did something um, in the settings and you want to go ahead and back and just undo the changes, click that and automatic will be uh, back the way it was when you first downloaded the application. Right here where it says your info, you can click on that, you can change your name, you can add an email and a phone number also. So I find that to be very useful. The pings right here, you can go ahead and share your contact with somebody else um, like you would any other picture, email, etc. Uh, if you guys need help or feedback, it's there for you, so you can go check that out. Go ahead and exit out of this one. And, like again, they give you a lot of options what you can do. Um, even tells you if, if, as far as your accounts, how many accounts you've got. You can look into that, change the settings if you need to. Go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the back button to get out of there. Um, right here where it says contact list, it has all the contacts that can be displayed. Um, you can either short it by first name or last name. Uh, you can go to name format. You can do the last name first or vice versa. Um, default account for new contact, so that's not technically set. So whatever guys you feel comfortable using, use that. I'm going to go ahead and prefer Google. And um, right here where it says phonetic name. So I'm not really sure what this is. I haven't really messed around with it yet, so I'm not too sure about that. But if you guys are curious enough to find out what this is, let me know. Um, so in this category, you've got always show or hide if empty. 
and um, right here again manage uh, contacts again you can import export restore undo changes and um, yeah you just go ahead and back out of there you can swipe sorry you can swipe to where you get to this section now suggestions is pretty cool I like suggestions because in here <coughs> excuse me in here what you can do is on your settings you can have contact set to a category if it's like friends family girlfriend brother sisters etc uh, right here will say found new contact information review suggested information for one contact and then right here is um, pretty much a contact through my Google contacts you can either hit dismiss or accept so I'm gonna go ahead and accept it's gonna add that contact automatically to my Google contacts now if you go into um, create label and this is what I was talking about earlier in the video um, if you wanted to keep the suggestion contacts to either family friends brother sister etc you can do that by creating a new label there uh, if you go back into this uh, into this part go into labels where it says family and then right here is where you can create the categories under friends girlfriends sisters brothers etc so you get that option there and automatically once you get done making all those changes and you were to click um, on a contact so I'm gonna go back to here and it's gonna uh, show your history together with this contact the mobile number which I'm gonna block out you can't see that right now and then the email uh, right here at the ping the ping is at add to a label delete share create shortcut help and feedback so at this point in time when you choose a contact you have options to either call text message email or add changes to this existing contacts or the star right here in the far right corner you go ahead and click on that they'll add it to your favorites so this is a fairly new app that was just released from Google today I think it was and um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for a while because it's a lot simpler than the one that I have onto my personal uh, device so other than that guys I hope this video was very helpful if you guys decide you want to get this application I'm gonna go ahead and leave you a link at the bottom of the description you guys go check it out tell me your thoughts about it tell me your pros and cons and um, other than that guys thank you for watching hit that like button if you did like this video do not forget to subscribe I'm exactly at 604 subscribers thank you all you guys for giving me some of the support that I needed to continue and yeah I really really appreciate all of you guys subscribing but other than that guys take care and I will see you all on the next video Peace.